啦啦。You should be careful what you name things. Just look, Rotting Hill, a formal waste dump that got turned into a suburban residential area. Maybe if they called it Paradise Hill, the houses wouldn't be falling apart and its public services wouldn't be drowning in debt. Then again, a dump by any other name would smell just as putrid. Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome to a brand new hospital. We're going to be working on Rotting Hill. Oh, we're finally into the city. Um, afterwards, we can then go to Pelican Wharf and then on to Crockenbush, the final level. I'm so excited. We're getting there. Um, take over this failing inner city hospital and turn it around. Okay then. Here we are, Rotting Hill. Rotting Hill Hospital has been on its last legs for a while. Thanks in part to the ruthless business practice of Jumbo Healthcare. Oh no, it's out of cash. Reputation is poor and it smells faintly of cabbage. <laughs> That's a theme hospital reference. Mayor Winsock and the Health Ministry have made the tough decision to transfer ownership from the Two Point Health Surface over to our organisation. We'll need a loan if we want to turn this place around. Well, normally I would say yes. Probably lots of people would <laughs> just want to take out a loan and, and get rid of this. But not me. Oh no. Look at this place. Uh, look at this place. Wow, it is, it's a rough old location, isn't it? They could do with a beautiful hospital. Uh, yes, they could. They really, really could. Um, although, I mean, we do have um, a problem with the loan situation, I think, don't we? Because I don't think in this one... Uh, no, hang on. I don't know. I was thinking I don't know if we charge in this hospital but um it looks like we do okay that's good so it's not quite like that in duckworth i don't think uh, we'll see we'll see we need to cure 100 patients i know that and we need to get reputation up to 70 staff morale needs to be 70 oh it's a staff morale one and hospital value of 1 million okay uh so where are we we've got a we've got a little hospital here up and running oh look at this um, we've got plots, I see, little square plots, very long hospital. It's been a long time since I've played this hospital, very long time indeed. Now, we do kind of need to take stock just a little bit. Um, so we have a GP office, oh, what's the temperature like actually here? It's cold, so we're going to need radiators um, and it does cost money to, to heat. Then we have no money. We have no money. Uh, that is a thing. Let's have a look at staff. So probably I'm going to have to take out a loan. God damn it! I don't wanna. Um, there are patients here, interestingly. There are patients here. So we have a doctor. And at the moment, we only need the doctor to work in one place. And that is the GP. Now, let's have a look at Layla here yeah no she's she's pretty good so we'll stick her in there good start then we have Richard Teeth interesting name he's grumpy and gets toilet rage um, do you know what we might stick him in pharmacy is what we might do We've got a receptionist we have no janitors um, so what I might do I'm thinking I want to sell a lot of this but at the same time maybe i will just take it out alone hey maybe i will just take it out alone i don't like taking out loans i got i'm funny about taking out loans um so we might take out from the two point bank we might take out a loan oh look the smallest loan is twenty five thousand. that might work i was thinking twenty thousand, but 25 is is fine so it's a thousand a month for 24 months quite a long time isn't it but it gives us a bit of dough because what we really need to do i think is hire a um jan likes to argue are you for right now i think we'll go with you 
will go with you. So you can get on with that and you'll just have to do everything uh, for, the, for the moment. Um, yes, you will. Uh, we have a ward here. Terribly dull. Okay, we're going to have to close the ward down for the moment because I don't like any of them. Um, we do need a psychiatrist, actually. Oh, and they're a good one. Look at them. They are a good one. Look at that. So we can keep psychiatry open then, by the looks of things. We can keep psychiatry open. That's fantastic. Um, oh, yeah. And then... No, yeah, no nurses just at the moment. So what we'll probably do is also close this. Okay, uh, where is our assistant? There's our assistant. Let's get them on there. And then another thing with the assistant, actually. Uh, let's set all of that. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and you know what? We might get likes to argue though. Likes to argue. I don't really want it. Given that we've got a reputation thing going on, it's a problem. In fact, that's the point. Let's just have a look at all of our staff. So positive, funny, green fingers, right, toilet rage and whatnot. So our nurse is is awful. We really need oh, our receptionist isn't great either. God, okay. Let's see. Ties easily. Unmotivated. Short temper. Ties easily. Right, okay. So we definitely need to be replacing some stuff. It's definitely a thing. Like it always is in um, uh, Duckworth upon Build. Um, dealing with staff is, is a big thing, right? So... Here we go. We'll see what happens. Uh, you in there. Get to work, you. What is this? Verbal diarrhea discovered. The disease people can't stop talking about. Verbal diarrhea spreads fast and can be heard for miles. <laughs> so, nice pharmacy one. Over here. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. We've not done the radiators. Probably should do the radiators. Um, let's do a bunch of radiators. On two point radio. The sport of kings may be polo, but the sport of gentlemen okay. is played at the sloop. You won't see the me there, of course. Far too much rough and tumble even in the stands, but it's nice to know it's there. Uh -huh. There we go warm up this hospital warm them up lovely oh too much that one is too much put like a little one here here Ooh. a blast of heat when you first walk in it's not a terrible idea not terrible okay all right it's a nice gentle start everybody a nice gentle start where are we with what day is about to come right now I can't remember I mean, it was only a moment ago that I was looking at this so we could really do with a better nurse unmotivated just means she's slow but otherwise she's great so what we'll do is we'll put her on the pharmacy she's even got pharmacy training it's insane so this will help with morale just by getting rid of him so we will fire him excellent now who else was was uh was, was the thing uh, the assistant the assistant positive high energy fantastic you they're in and cole here is fired there we go all right so that should help with morale Heart alone. Um, splendid. I think we might get rid of these plants. I like the idea of low maintenance, right? Low maintenance. So, what could we do here? Um, for what do we want? Uh, decorative, I feel. Um, I 
There we go. There we go. Well, that'll make that. That'll make them very happy. <laughs> you know, it'll be be a nice environment. Rotting Hill is horrible. All oh, right, so this is interesting, isn't it? So everybody has their top complaint is just the fact they just don't like being in Rotting Hill. Well, there's only one way really to deal with that. Um, so that you can cancel it out on everybody, so that it doesn't doesn't affect them at all. And that would be to give absolutely every member of staff you employ emotional intelligence training that would be the solution to that one um which is definitely something we could do staff promotion uh yeah um so let's see here let's go to overview policy so fast track decision they can leave rooms staff training messages no promote yes let's bring that down to 70 no cure right here although we do need to cure patients but okay but it's less rigorous this way for sure because we are losing money there we've got a bit of profit endearing sick not disgusting sick <laughs> okay Plants do need water. We're trying to cut down on the old plant business. I think we might get rid of this bin. Um, yes. And this one. In fact, they've got two bins in here, which is incredible. I don't think we need either of them, frankly. Uh, we'll get rid of these. These. And this. We'll leave that one there. But look, they've got two bins as well. Let's get rid of all this. All this high maintenance stuff. Uh, we don't need. We don't need this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And now look at this. This toilet's problematic uh, because we have six cubicles, one sink, and one hand dryer. The hygiene of people coming out of this toilet would not be good. Um, it would not be good at all. So I think what we might do is um, change this to be more like toilet I would build I think um, should we flip this round oh um, let's get rid of that okay now you could with the ratio here have three cubicles two sinks one hand dryer but I tend to try if I can have the same amount of sinks as I can toilets because you know usually the hand dryer is not that necessary it does add additional hygiene the hand dryer but if you want them out of the bathroom quicker it's possibly not worth having um, then just to keep hygiene up I'll put one of these out here that would be that would be pretty good um, so we've got a drinks machine but we don't have anything to eat so let's put in some cheesy gubbins okay Excellent. Excellent. Sounds good. <laughs> Pop that out there like that. Um, and now, maybe some snacks back here wouldn't be a terrible idea. Shall we grab? Sorry, taking that away. It's going to have to go in front of this window for now. There we go. Okay, just spread, I think, some of these bennies around. Um, yes, uh, we'll also get rid of this binny. Okay. They, I mean, he rushed to the bin to be unwell. Why not One crucial thing head really for the toilet? That's right there. Grammar. Do not listen to those who say that language is a flexible, evolving thing. It has rules, and they must be obeyed. Else we uh, exist oh, in linguistic I think we might... chaos, and civilization will surely crumble. And yes, there. that split infinity at the start was a little joke. Ah. There. <laughs> that will do me for the minute. 
um, it's it's an odd layout, but we're just accumulating some uh, some of the old money at the moment. Um, but yes, so what I was saying is that uh, you can do emotional intelligence training. We don't have a training room to show you, but emotional intelligence um, gives them a plus 10% uh, boost um, in their mood, in their happiness. So it would cancel that out. So Rotting Hill is horrible, wouldn't affect uh, the happiness at all. However, this particular member of staff, look, is... Um, that positive so they already have a plus 10 percent happiness which is fantastic if you ask me and you'll also notice it says attractive environment which gives their happiness plus 25 percent happiness um and you can you can have like an outstanding environment as well so we could you could show this with this particular room so we've got this this dot is pretty unhappy pretty unhappy um but she's off for a break she does want training though which doesn't help but um in this room it does say interest environment that's because she's out here we'll wait until she comes back i think um because it would be this would be a, a really good room to demonstrate in i would say there's still a bin in here can you believe it Put, pop a window in um Um, just while she's out on a break, we'll uh, sort this out a little bit. I'll do that. That should deal with it for a, for a minute. Oh, actually, this is a necessary item as well, isn't it? So we'll pop that in there as well. Right, so this is a prestige level two room. Interesting, okay. So where is our GP? Is it you? No, you're the psychiatrist. Would you like to go on a break? Um, I could do with a better staff room as well, really. It's, um, really, we, we could. In fact, let's get rid of this. Let's put in a bit of entertainment. Where did my... There it is. Putting green go. I like the putting green. I like it a lot. So let's stick that in some games let's put in some games for them excellent something for them to do um i think the more fun the more the more stuff that's in the um staff room the quicker they charge right okay now oh look hey look at this ward required we've got lazy bones has started to happen so nurses we've been looking have we likes to argue which is not great so we're definitely going to need um a new nurse for the ward but for now it looks like it's going to be a this nurse okay and then we can just open this back up there we go okay so, bed face. That's another ward one. Okay, excellent. Yes, please do come along. You don't need to... What? It's there. There we go. <laughs> Got there in the end. So, anyway. So, she is back. Um, let's have a look at her mood. So, it's a nice room. So, a level two is a nice room, which gives her 5% happiness. Well, that's nice. Now, let's see here. If we change this room up a little bit. So, if we pop in a nice rug for her. Um, and I also tend to like having the trophy cabinet, which adds, adds prestige and beauty and all that sort of stuff. There we go. Um, um, this room is different to how I normally do it isn't in in orientation and you know what I can't actually cope with it I think I am going to have to <laughs> I've, what, I've done it wrong what, what I need to do I need there was something off if I want the door here I say yeah with bad things why not rinse yourself out by drinking swill let's 
change this round. Otherwise, I can't cope with it. We'll go straight through you. Oh. Ews. Taking with it the poisons of everyday life and much, much more. <laughs> Thanks, Swill. Thanks, Swill. An incessant excretion. This is Two Point Radio. I'll leave that there. There we go. And we want to keep this room warm. Okay, there we are. <laughs> it's better. So, level two. Because now normally I would put these here. But we've got actually a window. And I don't like putting things in front of a window. So these also help boost diagnostics as well. Where are we? Lovely. Um, oh, oh, and I really like this cupboard. Excellent. Um, should we give her something to drink? There, level three. So with a level three room, it's a good room at 10% happiness. Fantastic. Um, this is what we like. Uh, so, now... Pop that in, and I think it's good to give her something to eat. So if she gets hungry, she can eat something. So this is if she gets thirsty, she can deal with that need. If she gets hungry, she can deal with that need. If she starts to feel unhygienic, she can deal with that need. So we're dealing with needs as we go. So it looks like that she might be just a little bit hungry. Look, she is. Now it's only it's only a little bit of of a boost um, to the hunger. I say a little bit. That was actually quite big, wasn't it? So it just, but it makes her, it makes her happier, right? It makes her happier. Uh, I think we'll do this because the, the hostel's small and we can get money for this. We, we can get money for this. We're probably in the queue, right? And then we'll come back to this. Um, right, the assistant is on break. And the thing is, is that the more vaccinations we don't use, um, the more money we get at the end. Um, right. Can you... Yeah, come back. I need to see them walk. <laughs> I need to see them walk. See if they stick their hands out. But they're bored already. Haha, ha. you and you. Was it this person too? Yes. Patients are reminded to stay away from the light. Stay away from the light and you. There we go. So sexual vac successful vaccinations bonus and then remaining vaccinations. Look how much we get. So it's definitely worth trying to keep it to a minimum, right? Fracture ward emergency. That's not going to be happening anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah. So, where are we with this? I uh, can't deal with needs a toilet particularly. Um, but you can see it's not having a massive effect on, on there. But we've looked, we're now heading into attractive environment as well. Because we've got like this cabinet here. It is attractive in here. So it's not just prestigious, but it's attractive. The, the rug, that picture and the trophy cabinet. So she's now starting to get that, that attractive environment as well on top of the good room. How good is that? It's pretty awesome. Um, so now, what else can we stick in here? Um, oh look, there's a drinks cabinet. So, thinking, we could put some of these scales in here, can we? Pop those in. Um, and I quite like as well the eye chart. Where's the eye chart picture? Did I go past it? There it is. Oh, pop that in there. Um, and oh, oh, the chair. Put, keep it, keep it che cheap. Mind you, does this? That has no attractiveness, right? That one. Oops. If you smell something suspicious, please fill out form 370. Don't think so. Oh well, we've got we've got a a bulkier chair. Um okay. So it's still level three. 
Now, uh, oh, a nice easy one, of course, is to put a couple of these up either side. They give a nice, a nice boost. Yeah, I forget what I normally put in these rooms, to be honest. Uh, oh, I do normally stick in um, a certificate up here to say that they're qualified. I, we like those. Uh, and I'm actually thinking over here we might pop in one of these carnivorous plants because I just I love them so much. There we go. Uh, but we are struggling here, aren't we, by the looks of it? Um, ooh, stick in one of these. So level four. So level four room makes it an amazing room at 20% happiness. Fantastic. And then level five I know is an outstanding room at 25 happiness. So that's, that is definitely a really good way of going with um, morale. Now, the benefit as well that we have with this level um, because we can look at morale here. Um, so you you'll find generally that you tend to struggle mostly with janitors and assistants with morale um, because they can't satisfy needs like doctors and nurses can. Um, so sometimes it's good to give them um, uh, more breaks. We don't have many janitors, we only have one of each. But sometimes putting their breaks up uh, helps as well um, but yeah room prestige getting that nice and high is fantastic um, and then the added benefit that we have with this level of course is that we can do the pay satisfaction which we weren't able to do in Duckworth um, so that's that's really really great um, it goes well it goes well uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it I think we're off to, to a nice little start here uh, with this one we could do with getting a training room in and training everybody I think with the emotional intelligence training uh, I think would definitely be worth it in fact how much are these other plots 40,000 they're not too bad are they is it across here yeah so what I might do is buy this plot and we might see about getting a training room over there so that in the next episode we can start that emotional intelligence training um, so that they're just happier in general porter's head porter's head affects both body and mind once thought to be caused by proximity to sea air it's now known to be chiefly uh, to be chiefly caused by living in porter's head <laughs> um go 90 days without death do you know what we'll give that a go um, because now is the time to try and get that right. Ooh. And we could do with a better ooh, ward nurse, which could be this lady for the moment. Um, put her in the ward for now. So she's got odd training, but at least she does have some more training and her mood isn't bad. Um, it's argumentative, you see argues with other people this is not what you need in a hospital like this where morale is a factor so yes this is this is where we'll go with this and i think we'll uh, look for an additional nurse as well at some point yeah it's going okay you know it's going okay <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, if you did please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.